Hey, what's up guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sakuchi. We saw where we left off, where we got our first two drum. Now we're going to continue on with the fishing trip as it continues on in the same spot. And you've seen multiple dangers that we are facing and that's the boats coming through the channel that's, you know, about 80 yards or so out from where we're at. And we're going to continue on with the bait and everything we're doing. Got a, got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller, the whole team So I don't know what the weather was a few days prior to this um, However, I had heard that they'd been doing pretty good on catching drum And for me, I forgot that I left my rod holders at the shop Instead of in the back of my truck I had cleaned it out for the weekend or whatever And I forgot to reload them and now it's catching up with me because now when I needed them to be able to pound them in so that way I could have three separate rod holders for the area I'm fishing, I'm having to do this. And even then, I was thinking of maybe an easier way to set up my rod holder so that way I can lay my three rods down instead of having to look um, spread eagle like this. I mean, it was just getting annoying and so forth. So uh, I decided to go down with this and let's see if it works out. Making sure that I angle it up, my drag's pretty loose. And we'll just keep on checking to see if the fish are still here. I already got two drum on the stringer. Like I said, we had a double up on the first one. The second one, we had another double up, but uh, it was with Kike and his crew over there. They are actually tearing it up right now. They're, they're a bit further down from where I am. But I wanted to go ahead and keep it going and then wanted to see how long it would take me to get my limit. And if y'all saw the... Um, the video short of me picking them up out of the water biggest one was 29 inches the smallest one was 22 inches and which is pretty good because now it gives us the ability to take home good slot drum um, we get a lot of comments that you know people automatically assume that they're oversized that'll be one thing that you can count on is that we will never have an oversized drum on our stringer now oversized red occasionally yes because we actually have the ability to have the t uh, tags and you get two per year for a bull red and that's anything over 28 inches for a red drum for black drum you cannot keep anything over 30 inches unless it breaks the state record which i think right now is 51 and something 15 one and a 16th of an inch which we found out one of our good buddies had actually caught a 52 and released it but didn't get no other pictures approved to measure or showing the length and stuff like that and since that's another level of fishing right there because for the record that that 51 is at it was actually a killed drum which meant they had to retain it and real quick i just wanted to show you that they ate off the fish bite but they did not steal my shrimp so what i'm going to go ahead and do is add on a piece of fish bite on top and hook and bottom hook and go ahead and get it back out there but it's showing that this um, bait elastic is working and it's going to be real interesting to show y'all the underwater footage as i'm showing you on the camera that i'm throwing out camera one and camera two and soon i'll have camera three out there and i was kind of pacing them out there one at a time because i wanted to give a all throughout the day kind of deal of um, what the fishing was like under the water so stay tuned for those videos as I am casting out and you can see for the most part I can get a good cast right there I'm in the channel but it was a backlash with the underwater camera and that's one of the things that I've had to deal with is the underwater camera um, creates its own obstacle on casting and so once I get it sorted on my braid, I get it reeled back in and I go ahead and get a recast. So let's see how it goes for me on the second cast and we'll keep it rocking. For y'all that are new to the channel, like I said before guys, please check out our other videos because we do keep this in a positive manner. There's not, um, we don't allow any trolling on this channel guys. We are here about knowledge and passing on good knowledge to help everybody become better anglers so if you are um 
in question about what are we doing and so forth, don't mind you asking your questions, but don't automatically throw an insult out there of assuming we're doing something illegal because that is not this channel. The Hard Life channel is all about protecting the species and promoting healthy fishing habits and teaching you all the right way to do things so that way when you're out there doing it by your own, you are not steered in the wrong direction. We are all about, like I said, the promotion of healthy fishing habits and stay tuned for so much more. We have plenty of knowledge within our channel and we encourage you to ask your questions if you have any um, and or positive reinforcement, um, positive notes, positive thinking. That's what we're about, guys. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to ask questions too. Like I said, we don't allow any trolling. So if you don't have nothing positive or good to say to help out somebody, then don't even comment at all, guys. But we do appreciate your time and watching the channel. Stay tuned as we got a lot more. Make sure to turn on your notifications after you've hit that subscribe button. And we'll keep it rocking and rolling. Yeah, go. 